order to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, I'd like to turn the meeting over to the solicitor. Good evening, everyone. If you've been to these meetings, I'm sure you know my name is Jim Ferrari, and I am the Polk Township Solicitor. The Polk Township Supervisors are present tonight. The sole purpose of this meeting tonight is for the supervisors to vote on the application for a conditional use from Effort Solar. That is the only thing that's going to happen tonight. There, the record in this matter has been closed. The, all testimony has been taken. The board has received briefs from the, from the applicant as well as from various parties. I can tell you that the board and myself have read those. We've looked at the exhibits. We've, we've uh, reviewed the matter. The transcripts were, were uh, transcribed and they have been reviewed. Um, so tonight the board is not going to hear any testimony or argument. We're going to make a decision. I do have, before that occurs, three additional township exhibits I want to identify in part of the record, just administrative exhibits. The first would be township exhibit number 11, which is a letter I received from applicants council dated April 17th, 2024, waiving the applicable time frames in the Pennsylvania Municipalities Code to issue a written decision on or before July 1st, 2024. The next exhibit would be Exhibit 12, which is a copy of the notice published in the Pocono Record, which is a newspaper of general circulation in Polk Township on June 5th, scheduling this matter for a uh, meeting tonight for the sole and single purpose of voting on the application. And the final exhibit is Exhibit 13, which is a certificate of the borough se or the Township Secretary indicating that the notice of this hearing uh, was posted at the municipal building as well as the Polk Township website. That is scheduling a hearing for tonight at 6 p.m. Um, um, there will be, after this vote is taken, there will be a written decision uh, in this matter, which is due to be uh, de uh, uh, delivered to the applicant and to the participants on or before July 1st, 2024. That will be done that the folks that uh, registered themselves as participants gave me their emails, so we will be emailing that to the applicant as well as any participant. And then there will be communication with that stating what your appeal rights are. If you're aggrieved with the decision, appeals can be, uh, be taken to the Monroe County Court of Common Pleas within 30 days from the date of the decision. So that would be honored before uh, July 30th, uh, 2024. And uh, I will also say this to you, that I don't want any, any shouting out or jumping up or screaming or anything, regardless of what the decision is. You may like it, you may not like it. The other thing is that th because this, this matter is subject to an appeal to super, but neither the supervisors nor myself will discuss this matter with any member of the audience because there may be an appeal filed. So please don't come up and ask us you know, why we voted like we did or why the, super why the supervisors voted like they did. So with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would turn the matter back over to you, and uh, you can run the rest of the meeting. I make a motion to deny the conditional use application of Effort Solar LLC. The applicant has presented conflicting testimony to the board with respect to the project, particularly as it regards the height of the panels, whether the panels be fixed or rotating, how a fire would be dealt with at the project, and whether the project would be located in Polk and Chestnut Hill Township, as is specified in the application, or whether the project was solely in Polk Township. We have heard different testimony on whether the applica application would go forward without the Chestnut Hill piece, or whether the Chestnut Hill piece is an essential part of the project. For these reasons, I believe the application as a whole lacks credibility. It is clear that the project is not permitted under the present zoning ordinances of Chestnut Hill Township. Notwithstanding this, 
application has never amended to be solely in Polk Township. The applicant has not presented to the board any plans for the project showing the property solely in Polk Township, including transformers for transmission of electricity to the power grid, which on the current plans is located in Chestnut Hill Township. I'm also making this motion because I do not believe the applicant has demonstrated all that is required to demonstrate under the sections of the Polk Township ordinances pertaining to conditional use. I do not think the applicant has met its burden of demonstrating that the proposed solar farm would not have an adverse impact on adjacent property, particularly the value of such properties. I do not believe the applicant's real estate expert was a credible witness. I do not think the applicant has met its burden showing the project would not cause glare directed into adjoining properties, roadways, or other areas accessible to the public. I do not think the applicant has met its burden of proving to the township a fire protection plan. From my point of view, the fire protection is of the utmost importance. I believe it was incumbent upon the applicant to present a fire protection plan specific for this project and not merely provide a fire protection plan from some other project, which is what occurred in this case. Our ordinance specifically requires that such a plan be submitted to the conditional use hearing, which it was not. I am very concerned about the fire protection and extinguishment as it was initially addressed by the applicant's principal by stating that the fire would be allowed to burn itself out. As the project is located on three separate parcels of real estate, I believe the applicant is obligated to maintain a 100-foot setback from each boundary of those properties as opposed to the properties combined. There is no testimony in the case of the applicant intends to join the properties together at any such, at any time such there are three separate pieces of property which must independently maintain the 100-foot setback. I also believe that each of the properties would have to be surrounded by a perimeter fence in accordance with the requirements of the ordinance. I also believe that the applicant has not met its burden under the sections of the ordinance, including the requirement to produce valid authorizations from the utility company acknowledging and approving a connection. The production of certificates of design and conflict compliance obtained by equipment manufacturers and the approval and licensing from the state and federal agencies. Although the applicant indicated that it would comply with sections of the ordinance in the land development stage, I believe that the ordinance requires proof of certain items at the conditional use stage which applicant has not met. This combined with the fact that the project was conceived as a joint project in Polk and Chestnut Hill without amendment of the application to show property being solely located in Polk compels me to make a motion to deny the conditional use application. I agree with all your comments and I would like to second that motion. Any questions to the board? A vote? Mike? Yes. Oh. Okay, uh, this is a motion to deny. Yes. Yes. And I'll go on. Motion in here? Yes. Motion in here? I'll second Let me just say that, as I said before, a decision, written decision will be issued and sent to everybody. Your appeal rights will be set forth in that decision. 